everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Windstar Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Manager here at CREA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 30 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Gina McInnes. Gina began her career in the cruise industry in 1992 at Princess Cruises as an escorted tour director for their Canadian Rockies and Alaska cruise tours during her college summer break. After graduation from the University of Washington, she became a product manager for their Europe Land Tour products. She left Princess in the early 2000s to pursue a sales career in another industry, but in 2013 was lured back into the cruise industry and was hired as the manager of contracting and bidding for Holland America, Seaborn, and Princess Cruises, negotiating contracts with tour operators for their worldwide shore excursions products. In 2015, she moved into a role in national account sales at Holland America before coming on board at Windstar Cruises in 2016 as the director of national accounts. Gina lives in the Seattle area with her husband, Jeff, and two children, Jack and Sophia, who all love to cruise and travel the world during their school break. And with that, take it away, Gina. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Anna. And thank you, everyone, for joining me today. I'm calling in from Seattle, um, a gray uh, overcast, but still it's going to be in the 70s here in Seattle. And we're just loving it. Um, for those of you who have been up to Alaska on cruises over the last, I don't know, several years, with the exception of COVID years, Seattle's a big cruise-centric port now. Um, for those ships going up to Alaska, and we're sad to say they're leaving now. They're about headed, about this is their last week here for most sailings, um, headed, headed down south. But it's really fun to see the ships here, especially fun to see the ships back after our the two-year uh, COVID break from them. And it's exciting to see our cruise industry really come back and come back with a vengeance. Holy moly, we are extremely busy at Windstar Cruises. Our 23 and 24 is looking absolutely incredible. Um, our ships are filling up quickly. Um, it, they're, they're beautiful, they're shiny, they're new, and we are so excited. Our crew is very excited to see everybody back and we are excited too. I mean, even a year ago, things were still a little bit up in the air. Um, you know, schools, were they going to close down again, open again? I mean, to, to say that we made it through is really um, an understatement. And we're, we're excited that you all are here and have made it through that time. Or for those of you who are new, congratulations. <laughs> um, and on that note, I want to talk to you a little bit about Windstar Cruises and about our absolutely amazing product. And it's especially amazing right now because we are small. We're a small ship cruise line with no intention on getting bigger. Um, our ships are between 148 and 342 guests, no more um, than that. So we are small. We don't. We are not sailing with thousands and thousands of people uh, with the, you know, still running the risks of getting sick. Um, with less people, there's a lot less risk, and there are our ships have much more space for um, each person. So we'll talk a little bit about that, but we're really excited to share with you what we are, what we are as Windstar, what what our plans are, and where we are going um, in the future, and how you can sell Windstar and why you should sell Windstar. Um, but what we like to say here at Windstar, let me switch this slide here. Well, apologize about that. Uh, we like to say that we're taking travelers in a different direction. We're going to those smaller ports. I always like to say all the big ships, those big, beautiful ships with the slides and the and the climbing walls and all the fun things on them, we are not those. When those are going one way, we're going the other way. We're going to those ports that those big ships simply cannot get into. Um, we're going to those ports where even if we have to anchor in, then we do wet, what we call wet landings in some locations where we, we anchor in and then we get our guests on Zodiacs and we go into even smaller areas. Um, we really try to be uh, different um, than the other cruise lines and take you to those captivating places that you just can't find on, on any cruise line where we like to be different. We like to go to those places that the ships can't reach, such as this area in Alaska. Um, our ship 
our ships in Alaska, whether they're in Glacier Bay or our college fjords, we really get extremely close, um, as close as we can to those glaciers we anchor in. And then we let our guests go out on Zodiacs and kayaks and they can get within one mile of those glaciers. And if you have never done that, holy moly, it is unbelievable. I did it in summer of 2019. I was a, in a mile of those glaciers and it's amazing how really big they are and you really can't understand how big or how remote um, these places are that we take you to until you can get that close um, into them. Um, and we like to go beyond the sightseeing as well. We have amazing tours. We've got, you know, the, the Zodiacs or the kayaks or the ATV tours or even, you know, a simple, um, you know, bus tour, a van tour, a private van tour. But what we also like to offer are these local tours that the locals, you know, may have been doing these tours with us for 35 years. I was just in Tahiti and I got to a fabulous, one of my favorite tours that I've ever been on was getting in the back of a truck, um, going up to the top of the hill in Morea and we went to a local's home and we got to see how they live. We got to see how their pineapples and how they cut the pineapples and how they cook with them. And, and it, it, that just was amazing. We got to see really authentic locals and how they live. And the tours are small. It was with, I think we had no more than 12 people. And it's not with 50, 60 people because they can't accommodate that. And we don't have that ability with our ships. So small tours, local tours, just beyond those simple sightseeing tours is what really our main focus is in these destinations that we go to. And we like to create memories that really simply will last a lifetime. I was just in Iceland in, in um, August on one of our ships and I got to go to the Blue Lagoon and, you know, float along in the Blue Lagoon with a mask on my face. And I mean, really, that was the most amazing <laughs> tour, one of my favorites. And um, we saw a large ship tour come on multiple buses and they went to the more crowded area, whereas we were in the more private area um, with about, I don't know, 15 of us from the ship. And it was quiet and relaxing and you know you put your mask on and you float and you take it off and get a nice glass of wine and there were definitely two distinct areas in the blue lagoon it was the big ship versus our little small ship and we really like to create those types of memories that you simply cannot get on your own and you cannot get um in a larger ship environment so what we say at Windstar, and you've seen this tagline, I'm sure, is that it really is travel that is 180 degrees from ordinary. We are not an ordinary cruise line. We are really quite different from those big ships that go to the same ports every week. Our weeks are, are different. Most of our ships go to different ports every single week, or they don't see the same port twice um, for several weeks. Uh, you know, and, and I'll talk a little bit about the two separate types of ships that we have. We have a total of six, um, three without sails and three with sails. And I'll talk a little bit about that as we move on um, in this webinar. But we simply are 180 degrees from your ordinary cruise ship and your ordinary sailing and tours. Our days are relaxed. They're not get up and go and move and, oh my gosh, you've got to get in line to get off the ship or to get to a um, a, a, a tender boat and to get in another line to get in to wait for the tour. You can relax in the morning. We have enough chairs and deck space for every single person on the ship. You do not have to get up at seven in the morning and and uh, put your books down and your towels down to hold your space. Um, it, 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 there's plenty of space for everyone. You can relax. Um, in the morning, you can go on a nice tour in the morning and come back and you'll have those that relaxation um, for you out on our deck. You're not needing to run or hold or someone staying behind to hold space for you. Our days, they're unregimented. Um, have breakfast when you want. Do you want room service for breakfast? Would you like to go to the dining room or would you like to just get breakfast? Maybe have coffee in the coffee shop and then maybe go on a tour and then come back with lunch. It really is unregimented. We don't have bingos during the day or um, or really those regimented um, activities during the day because we like to let our guests 
decide for themselves and, and have those relaxing afternoons or go um, onto the ports. We pull up close into those ports. If we can dock, we will. Um, and if we, we, we can't dock, we will anchor and then we'll bring you in on tenders. But we really like to get into those cities where you can just go walking about um, in those ports where you're not needing to take a bus to the, to the main area or a bus to the main beach. We like to pull up into those areas. I, I like to say it's actually really quite similar to a river cruise where you can just literally walk off that river ship and, and be in that um, main area of the city. We, m the majority of our stops are really like that. So you can plan your day around that city or whatever you wanna do that day, whether it be a tour, walking around the city, going to the spa, or simply taking your chair on deck and sitting in the sun. And we do, as I said, freedom of the crowds. Our ships are not crowded. With a maximum of 342 guests, they are simply not crowded at all. There's space for everyone to maneuver about. I've been on, gosh, I countless Windstar cruises, whether they're hosting a fam or even taking my family. And I've yet to find a line um, for a meal, uh, a line at the front desk or even the shore excursions desk um, or even in the spa. I can get in when I want because we don't have the crowds on board. Even if I wanna take the elevator, which I typically don't because we only have uh, a few floors between three and six floors, depending on the ships. But if I wanted to take the elevator, there's no line. And I've been on those big ships and you do wait. On, and those elevators are necessary when you're going up 17, 18 floors. Um, and there are lines. We don't have the lines. We don't have the crowds on our ships. We also, there's our, one of our um, uh, executive chefs, and we do have amazing food on board. And you have to remember on our ships, we're not cooking for 5,000 people or 2,000 or even 1,000 people. We're only cooking for several hundred people at each meal. Um, we have multiple restaurants. We have room service for any restaurant you want. We do have a very small buffet. I'll show you some photos of that later. But that allows us to be able to cook at a, a wonderful meals because they are not made. Your hamburger is not made in the morning and sitting under a heat lamp or the steak or the fish that you cook that you that you ordered for dinner has not been sitting in the freezer because it was flown in from somewhere um, and then cooked in the afternoon and sitting under the heat lamp. It's cooked a la minute. When you order that meal, whatever that may be, it is cooked a la minute. If you are gluten-free, if you have allergies, we will make it very, very amazing substitutions for that, um, for those necessary um, items that you want. I was on board um, last summer. I was on the first sailing uh, after COVID and there was um, a group of plant-based um, eaters, which right now plant-based, as many of you may or may not know, is very big. Um, and, it, and for me, it was actually new last year and they could only eat plant-based. And our chef, what he made for this plant-based group was unbelievable. And I'm not a big plant-based eater, but they shared their food with me. And it was actually quite amazing. I was in shock um, at how amazing it was. Plant-based and no sugar. It was unreal. And we can do that with, with the small amount of guests that we have and our crew on board, uh, our very, very talented crew on board. We also have a partnership with the James Beard Foundation. The James Beard Foundation, for those of you who don't know, is a foundation that recognizes amazing chefs and restaurants across the United States. And they help us with our menu. And we have, for those chefs that have won this award, we actually have their um, specialty meals on our ships. There are a couple in Seattle and I always try to order from them, uh, order their meals when I do go on board. Um, we do have James Beard Foundation sailings where we will have those award-winning chefs on board our ships. So if you have uh, food uh, foodies and you want to do a group, this is a great group to do the James Beard Foundation uh, uh, sailings uh, because th that James Beard chef will be cooking for your guests uh, cooking demonstrations, shopping with that chef in the local destination. So that's a, a group thought to think about. So with our two ships, we like to say you have luxury and freedom of choice. 
whether you want to ship with the sales or to ship without, whether you want an all-inclusive fare or a cruise-only fare, we like to give you those choices. And let me go a little bit more into that. So our, we have our three star plus class ships. These are all sweet luxury yachts. They're beautiful. I have sailed on three, all three of them this year. They're a maximum of 312 guests. The minimum suite, the entry level suite, there's a photo of it right here with the window is 277 square feet. Uh, so the Starbreeze legend and the Star Pride. So you can see how big these are. They have sitting areas, they have a bar area, uh, a gorgeous bed and, uh, sleeping area that's set off from the sitting area. Double vanities, I'll show you that in the bathrooms, all brand new. This ship, these, excuse me, three ships went through a $250 million Star Plus initiative during COVID. That's right, This, which was a great time, I guess, to do it. It started with the first ship, the Star Breeze, right here um, in October of 2019, and then you know what happened. So during COVID, these ships were being worked on. They are stunning where several cruise lines had to stop work on anything during this time our windstar a brand without any debt on it was able to continue with this star plus initiative we cut the three ships in half we added 50 suites two new restaurant restaurants and put the ship back together um for a for a totally new transformation all three of these ships have new engines four new engines so much more fuel efficient only 50 new suites on board uh two new dining experiences we spent two hundred sixty seven thousand dollars per berth on the entire ship um 84 square excuse me 84 square feet was added that's it not a lot um we have a new owner suite for 1374 square feet every single bathroom on board these ships has been uh, completely redone and brand new. They're stunning. They have beautiful tile, double vanities, and two new tenders. So even though we didn't really have any wait times, now we have even less wait times. So tenders, when we're dock, or excuse me, when we are anchoring, there is no wait time. There's always a tender there to take you um, wherever we need, wherever uh, the port is. So here is, here's a picture of our, um, the Star Balcony Suite. So very similar to that entry level suite, this one has the balcony on it. So just a stunning, stunning remodel. And these these suites are starting at 277 square feet as well and go up to, all the way to the owner's suite at 1300 square feet. This is a great for those multi-generational travelers, three bedrooms, three and a quarter bathroom. And everybody has their own private area and they can meet in the middle and have dinner here or drinks or cocktails and go to the restroom restaurant uh excuse me so it's it's really a fabulous place for those multi-gen travelers to sail together our spas on board were completely redone here's just a nice shot of the treatment room i spend a lot of time in that spa and i'm going to tell you it's really nice it really is they do a great job um in, in our spa and there we go um here's a picture of the pool and hot tub this is it for our deck space. Plenty of deck. The over to the left hand, lower left, that's the bow of the ship as well. But as you can see, we don't have slides or climbing walls. Um, so you're not going to find a lot of children on our ships, um, which for some, including myself, I'm a mom, it's kind of a nice break. Um, but we do allow kids eight and older to sail on our ships. But you're not going to find a lot of running around and screaming and commotion. We don't, we just simply don't get a lot of kids on board. I'm actually taking my 11 year old and my six, seven, oh my gosh, 17 year old and husband um, this Christmas on our ship for the, my kids will be sailing for their first time. Um, and I'm even a little worried about my 11 year old. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, he'll be fine. He will not cause a commotion, but it, it's not made for kids. So it's definitely something if you've got children who want to, or families who want to travel with their young children on Windstar, definitely just, you know, qualify the child and make sure they're okay without the kids centers. Um, we are personally used to the kids centers for our kids um, and we'll see how this goes. I think they'll be fine um, and, and enjoy it. But as you can see, this is the deck space, plenty of space for everyone. Um, as I mentioned, we have two new restaurants on board, the Star Plus class ships. One is Quadro 44. This is our Spanish cuisine. Um, and this is our uh, 
a restaurant that we went to have a partnership with Chef Anthony Sasso. He's a Michelin starred restaurant uh, restaurant owner called uh, his restaurant in New York City is called Casa Mono, um, which some of you may or may not know. Uh, it's phenomenal. Here's just a nice little shot of the interior. Just a stunning, beautifully done Spanish style interior. The colors um, in the food is phenomenal. Um, share share plates. Um, and really a fun place. You can watch the uh, chefs over here to the left cook. You can sit even up there um, at the bar and watch them cook and talk with them. It's fabulous. I, I so enjoy it. Uh, we have a second new restaurant called the Star Grill. And this is a Steve in Reichland Grill. He is a grill aficionado. Um, and this is really more of a casual outdoor covered. So if it's too sunny or if you're in an area where it's rainy, it's covered. Um, and this is where you can, can you know, get hamburgers and hot dogs, maybe a grilled chicken or pork during the day, um, and, you know, cheeses and meats and, and uh, ice creams outside. So this is, I guess you could call it a buffet outside, but a nicer buffet. And that's the size of it. So it's small. Again, you're not going to see the lines on there. I actually love this because it's very casual. You can go with your swimsuit cover up on and be just fine and sit outside and enjoy a nice, uh, lunch or snacks. There's a nice another shot of the Star Grill. Um, and keep in mind, we do have uh, two other dining rooms on board as well. So for a total of four um, places for your guests to be, including um, a fifth would be room service. So our wind class ships, we have three of these wind class ships. These are IR Windstar's iconic sailing ships. It's mainly sail in the warmer regions of the world. Tahiti year round is our one of these ships. Um, the Greek Isles, can you imagine? I mean, being on the ship in the Greek Isles, uh, the Mediterranean in the summer, the Caribbean, of course, in the winter months. Um, these ships are down there and um, our uh, very well trained officers and captains, it will put those sails up um, by the push of a button, our guests are not helping them put them up. It's a push of the button. And if the, if the winds are just right, they will turn those motors off and they will just sail. So if you have uh, guests or groups, clients who are part of a sailing club, a yacht club, this is for them the best. They absolutely love these ships, those, those types of guests. And uh, uh, one thing to mention, all six of our ships have an open bridge policy. We do not charge like big ships do to do a tour of the bridge. Your guests can go in there anytime they want, except when they are docking or or um or, or pulling out of in and out of a port. I love the bridge. I find this so fascinating. I prefer to go up there at night when it's getting darker and I like to talk to these officers and I kid you not, I could be the mom to half of these officers that are running these ships. They're, they're so knowledgeable. There's always three up there, there's an officer, an officer on the watch, um, and then uh, usually a second officer, um, if the captain's not there, of course. Um, and they will, if, if they have the time to do it, and oftentimes they do, they love to brag about the, the bridge and what's up there. I love looking at the map. I love seeing where other ships are on the radar. Um, it, it, I love watching the whale. They'll, they'll see whales miles away, this officer on the watch. And then we'll, it, it's just really a phenomenal place to hang out um, when the sun goes down. I've heard when the sun comes up, it's another great place to be. I have yet to experience that. So if you do, let me know. But I've heard, take your coffee up there in the morning and watch the sunrise from the bridge. It's, it's a great place to be. We have uh, a table and two chairs up there for you. And there's usually a coffee pot too. If you don't bring your own coffee, there's coffee up there for you. Um, so that's something to think about. It's 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 a really um, interesting place to, to go and it's it's all included. Uh, so wing class ships, um, iconic to Windstar. Uh, we have two that are 148 guests. That is it. And one, this is our flagship, uh, 342 guests. That's it. So these are really iconic for those sailor lovers, sailing lovers. And, and they have been redone during COVID as well. These were scrubbed. I saw photos. It was so fun to watch photos because uh, we had a crew that we kept working during COVID and they worked on the ships 
and these ships were brought down to just the absolute studs and just really um, shiny, sparkly shiny. Here's a nice shot of the pool deck of one of those sailing ships. The pool being in the back where the Star Plus class ships, the pool is in the middle. Okay, and you can see not crowded, tons of space. So who is that typical traveler? Who should you be focusing on in your client database? Um, those guests who like to, who like authenticity, they like authentic tours. They don't like the typical tours. They want understated elegance. I haven't mentioned this yet. If you can wear it to your golf club or your polo club, you can wear it to on Windstar. So as you can see, these guests going out on the tour right here, this is just fine with Windstar. We do not have uh, formal evenings. Um, wearing an overcoat would be overkill uh, in the dining room. A, a great thing for a man to wear would be a, just a pair of nice khaki slacks and a polo shirt. Fabulous, you're going to get the five-star James Beard service and food, um, but not the need to uh, dress as such. Women, a nice um, uh, a dress, a nice summer dress, or just a nice pair of slacks and, and a nice shirt as well. And that is Windstar, understated elegance. You want an authentic tour. You want something that's different from the from the masses. Um, you want a more intimate travel. You don't want your your guests don't want the crowds or the kids. As I mentioned, I have kids, and in the past, I have actually um, until this year, we actually sail on Christmas on the big ships because I needed not the intimate travel, I needed the kids center. So we're trying this out. We're trying to do more intimate travel this year. And I'll let you know how it is if you want to reach out to me afterwards. Um, uh, but there are those guests who don't want the the, the big ships and, and there are guests who do and they're, they're both fine. Um, but our guests typically want that more intimate, smaller feel, um, less, less crowded feel. We have a new thing with Windstar. There we go. Uh, we call it cruising transform. And this is new. Uh, as of, gosh, I think this summer is when we came out with it, um, or this spring, excuse me. It's available on all the cruises. And what we found was there were some guests who wanted all inclusive. They didn't want to pay for drink after drink. They wanted it all included. If they wanted five drinks one day and one drink the next day, so be it. Um, and when I say drinks, I'm talking alcohol. Um, they didn't want to have the bills and the papers. So they wanted it all included. Um, there are other guests who don't drink, who don't want the alcohol, and they don't want to pay for that in their cruise price. And that is just fine. So we're giving you and your guests the options. And let me back up before I uh, move forward, is that uh, sodas, bottled waters, specialty coffees, very important for us from Seattle, uh, lattes, mochas, you name it, all included. You're not paying any extra for that. All the food, all included. The only thing you're paying extra for are um, alcohol beverages and your short excursions and your gratuities. But as far as drinks go, it's that alcohol beverages that are, that are extra. Okay, so here's just an example. If your guests were online, they or you are looking at pricing, let's say they're looking at classic Italy and the Dalmatian coast, they can look at two different fares, cruise only, $32.99, maybe they'll have one drink a day. They think it's probably a better deal to just do the cruise only here. If they want maybe several drinks a day, they like one in the evening, a couple during the day, whatever it is, they could do this all-inclusive fare, okay? And the all-inclusive fare does include the alcohol drinks and the gratuities um, and the Wi-Fi. All right, so our, we have evergreen promotions for your guests. So these are a constant. Uh, one being our Star Collector Voyages, and these are for your guests who have more time, um, and I am so jealous of them. One day, when I'm not working, I will have this where they could do back-to-back -back voyages, never seen the same port twice. We call these Star Collector Voyages, and they get laundry included. And I am telling you, I always buy laundry now when I go on cruises, but if it's included, even better, um, especially, gosh, with travel being so difficult and bags being lost. Have your guests just bring a carry-on and send their laundry out. We do not have coin-operated laundry. We take care of your laundry. We fold it, we wash it, we dry it, and we fold it and bring it back to your room. It's, it is honestly, as a mom, a working mom, it is the best thing ever. And it's the only way to go that I go now. Uh, so that's really important to know. 
we also have the seven for seven sailings. And these are really important for you. We have many advisors who every Thursday they wait for the seven for seven. And these are seven sailings that are deeply, deeply discounted for seven days and seven days only. And these are not sailings that are leaving in a week or a month or two months. These could be sailings that are leaving in a year, maybe six months. They're kind of all over the board. Um, there are several regions around the world. And basically what we're doing is we're trying to fill the ship sooner. Um, so they're deeply discounted. It's very strict though. If you have guests who are thinking about it, let them know that on day seven at midnight, they're done. And we, and we, we don't do a retro on them. But there are some advisors that they know their guests want a particular sailing, they watch for this and they can really get some great, great deals. So get on the list for seven for seven. You can go to our advisor hub. I'll show you how to do that here shortly and you'll get those seven for seven sailings um, emailed to you every week. We also have some current promotions um, and let's go through those really quick. Uh, book any 22, 23 or 24 select sailing, uh, collector voyage, longer ones, cruise tour. We have phenomenal cruise tours. Um, and your guests can receive up to $1,000 per stateroom on board credit, okay? And this promotion go, has been going on since August. It will go for a few more days through October 15th. So if your guests are on the, you know, the fence about booking, this may be something for you to look in. You can get those sailings on our advisor hub, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Great promotion, um, up to $1,000 ship board credit, depending on the length of the cruise. This are... Um, Tahiti promotion. This is phenomenal. If you've had guests who want to sail on Tahiti, they've talked about Tahiti. Perhaps you have honeymooners or soon to be honeymooners and they want to go to Tahiti and stay in that overwater bungalow that is incredibly expensive and they might not have the budget. How about sail on Windstar for seven days? That's their overwater bungalow for a lot less money. And we are celebrating. It's our 35th anniversary of being in. Tahiti. So if you book a Tahiti cruise, air, and hotel package, you can book that all with Windstar uh, <clears throat> on either the Wind, when it, the Wind Spirit or um, a small sailing ship. The Star Breeze will be down there as well. Um, you can book your air through Windstar, which is through Air Tahiti Nui. For those on the West Coast, Air Tahiti Nui will be flying out of Seattle direct starting this week. It's I can hardly wait. And then a hotel package. You do need a hotel um, it, just simply because of the time you'll need a free or a post. Um, if you book that through Windstar, you have through November 17th, uh, you get an all-inclusive for free. That is $89 per person per day. That is all the alcohol that they want, uh, all the, the gratuities, um, and the Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's a great, great deal. Um, or cruise, or excuse me, not Wi-Fi, it's alcohol and gratuities. Uh, cruise only guests, if let's say they just booked the cruise, they get themselves there, they're in their hotel, they're air on their own, um, they will receive a hundred dollars shipboard credit. This is also combinable with that other um, promotion we just talked about, the uh, other onboard credit promo. So it's a really fabulous deal. Uh, we have FC seats for those guests who missed out on sailing with us. They were booked, but we had that, you know, two year COVID nonsense. Um, if they have FC seats, we're extending those FC seats to December 31st. Some did expire because, uh, you know, we, who knew it was going to last so long. We've extended those FC seats to December 31st. If those FC seats expired, um, reach out. Here's the link and I'll show you the advisor hub shortly. We have phenomenal solo sailing, some of the lowest in the industry. Um, select sailings as low as 25% on select departures. So check those out. Something to keep in mind, because I know there's a lot of people who um, don't want to sail solo, but they don't want to share a room. And I'm one of them. I like my own. Um, we have 18 unique suites on board the windsurf. And it says deck three. Don't let that scare you. The windsurf has six decks. So this is in the middle of the ship. It's a great location. What we did when we redid this ship, they combined two staterooms so, uh, to, into one. So there's one stateroom, two full bathrooms, two vanities, two closets even. So if you've got a friend and you don't want to even pay the supplement, you can share a room with this friend but have your own um, closet, which is so important, and bathrooms. 
uh, we also, uh, they're, they're large, 376 square feet. They are perfect for um, sailing with a good friend. So check that out. Um, if your guests are on board and it, it, it encourage them to book, we will absolutely make sure that guest goes back to you. We'll do the work. And you know as well as I do, if you have sailed and you're you're sailing and you're having a phenomenal time, you love the cruise line, the crew, you're like, gosh, I want to go again. What's a better time to book is when you've got them in the moment and they are sailing. Um, book on board. We do have an onboard cruise consultant on board um, who will do all the work for you and you will get that commission. In addition, there's a 5% savings on the cruise fare on board. We have a reduced deposit. They will get an onboard ship credit, $100. There's savings on laundry, Wi-Fi, and Windsor branded merchandise um, as well. So it is a great way. Highly suggest that they, you know, if they're having a great time, talk to that cruise consultant um, on, on board while they while they're there. And then um, we have um, the suites that I wanted to talk with you about really uh, briefly. We do not call them staterooms. We call them suites simply because of the size of our staterooms, especially the entry level size. We've got the premium suites, which is a uh, uh, the picture that you're looking at now. We have the grand owner's suites for those guests who want to do the multi-generational traveler. Um, we have th two and three bedroom owner's suite. Then we have some unique suites on the wind surf. These are the officer's suites is what we call them. The officers are not staying there, but they are in the officer's quarters directly behind the open bridge. So these are fun on the wind surf, that five-masted sailing ship. If you have those guests, who are sailing aficionados they've got to sail them both themselves maybe they can't sail anymore but love to sail these suites are for them they sell out i mean they are right next to the captain they're right next to the bridge it really truly feels like it is their own sailing ship um something to definitely keep in mind so where do we sail where can you sell or send your guests um on windstar we're in Tahiti around. We sail the Greek Isles, phenomenal. We get so close up around the Greek Isles in the summer months, Alaska, of course, in the summer months, uh, going into those smaller destinations and ports. Iceland, I just did this in, in August. Well, gosh, just over a month ago. Round trip Reykjavik, unbelievable. It sells out every year. If you have anyone interested in Iceland, this is the way to go. Iceland is a big location. It's a, Big. and driving it and seeing the hotels you know are extremely expensive the food's extremely expensive but to see it by ship and going all the way around the island round trip is the way to do it uh costa rica and panama canal going through the canal on a small ship is un unbelievable um i've done it on the big ships i'm excited to someday do it on our small ship but our costa rica we do have those wet landings where we anchor we then take your guests out on the Zodiacs and we go on shore via the Zodiac. Um, uh, Corinth Canal, uh, I just had some friends do that and, uh, and this picture is very indicative of that Corinth Canal. They get so close. Even our stretch ships can still fit in through there. Not many cruise lines have a ship that can fit through the Corinth Canal and we can, these are the summer months. We sail San Juan's in the Virgin Islands. Um, in the winter months, classic Italy, Dalmatian coast, a very popular sailing. And we are super excited to share some new destinations. This year, Australia, New Zealand, we will be there in November through early of 2023. Um, and that's going to be exciting. We'll be there on the Star Breeze, our new Star Plus Plus yacht. If you've got anyone interested in Australia, New Zealand, check these sailings out. These are phenomenal. And then we're super excited to share, this isn't really well known yet, because uh, we have just announced it, um, Arabia and the Red Sea, starting in November of 23, a little over a year from now, we'll sail November through April of 24 uh, in that destination. Can hardly wait. That'll really be exciting. And then we'll be back in Asia uh, here in uh, spring of 23 through the fall. We, of course, had to skip Asia. We are planning on being there. We're so excited Asia is opening. Um, I've done it once on a cruise, and it really is a great way to see that part of the world just a beautiful beautiful part of the world and wonderful people um 
we do have a commitment to you as our travel advisors. We love our travel advisors. We're here for you. Um, our team is very small. Uh, our sales team, we have a small but mighty sales team, which I'll show you some pictures, uh, our, our little team and what we all do here shortly. Uh, but we do like to give your guests um, the experience of a lifetime. Um, and if they don't have that, we have, we are failing and we don't want that. And we want you to know we're here for you throughout the process of your, the booking during their sailing and after if anything should come up where we have fresh sales tools and we have new support. And I'll explain that in a second. We have advisor service, easy to use travel advisor hub um, that has those all important travel advisor rates. Those are key for you to see um, our brand and we invite you to see our brand. We have a star specialist program for online training about WinStar where we offer bonus commission um, if you take that star specialist program and book shortly after that within 120 days after. Um, we have a groups program that is a phenomenal one of the best in the industry. Uh, 5% discount on uh, we have two excuse me we have two separate groups. We have our star groups where we have the 5% discount. We have a guest amenity of $100 per person credit. Or your TC is one for nine. So the 10th bet is yours as a tour conductor. Take it as money, take it for yourself. And then we do a complimentary cocktail party with 18 or more guests. We have star advantage groups. And these are dates that maybe don't sell quite as quickly as the star groups. Um, so a higher discount on savings, um, also a ship for credit TC of one to nine, and then the complimentary cocktail party. Check out our groups. Um, they're a great way. Work with your regional sales manager to promote it. Um, it they are combinable. If we're, any of you have hosted sailings, they're combinable. Cruise nights, do a cruise night. Uh, it's a two week ship for credit with your regional sales manager and sell your group to get more ship for credit. It's all combinable. So I've mentioned our advisor hub several times. This is just a, a picture of it. If you haven't registered, please register for that. This is your place to go for everything that you need to know about WinStar, the online training, all of our marketing pieces, our photos, our videos, all of our promotions, our, our guests and our trade promotions are there. Flyers are there. Uh, everything that you need to sell WinStar, uh, access to your regional sales managers, contacts for them, all there as well. Um, and those all important advisor fan rates. Please, please use those. Um, and then we have our amazing sales team this is going uh we have small but mighty sales team um diana Rahm, our director of overall sales i oversee the national accounts we've got roger i don't know why his picture's a little stretched like that he's your west coast manager andrea oversees canada melissa uh southeast uh meg daly the northeast and then we've got chad smith our business development west representative helping on the West and the East. We have a sales ops manager. For those of you, if you have any questions or concerns or need help, he's your guy. He comes from many years working on the ships for Windstar and uh, back in, in uh, vacation planning. He's now, we are happy to have him in sales. We have a brand new regional sales manager in the mid Midwest, just started with us the other day. His name's Ward Reed. For those of you who know him, I don't even have his photo yet. I apologize, he's so new, but he's not new to the industry. Um, and then our regional sales manager in the United Kingdom is um, Anna Perot, um, if, if you have questions about the UK. And on that note, I've gone way over, Anna. Um, I did not expect that, so I apologize. But if there's any uh, Q&A, I would be more than happy to answer uh, any types of questions mm -hmm. that come your way. Sure, and no worries at all. That was all great information. We do have a few questions coming in, and I invite everybody to keep them coming while we have Gina here. Our first question is from Damien, who is also in the Seattle area and is wondering if you offer trainings in the area. Gosh, we um, had a regional sales manager here in the summer, um, but gosh, I'm trying to think if he did trainings. I don't think he did. We um, have online training. Um, that I can set you up with our, our you, the West Coast sales manager or of course myself. Um, and there will be some road shows in 2023. All of those regional sales managers will be doing significant road shows. And our big push is, um, and I know many cruise lines are doing this as well, is to get the actual physical address 
that advisors are at now, not where their IATAs are, because so many are working remote now, right? Your IATA might be in Las Vegas, but you might live in Seattle. So if we've got a roadshow in Seattle, we want to know that you live in Seattle um, and can invite you to those. Right now, there's nothing planned, but keep an eye out for um, 2023 or happy. I'm more than happy to help you or meet you for coffee and train you as well. Just please reach out. Okay, great. And I'm actually wondering if you could go back to the slide with all of the BDS. Yeah, let me do, there you go. Perfect. And we do have someone, Andrea, based in Vancouver, uh, Canada, who is wondering who she should reach out to at Winstar if she has any questions. Andrea Mendelson. She oversees all of Canada. Perfect. So Andrea, you can reach out to Andrea. Perfect. Absolutely. Or, you know, anyone can reach out on our advisor hub. There's a Winstar sales email um, or Steve Furlong, our sales ops manager. He can also, you can also say, hey, I need help with X, Y, and Z, and I'm in this area. He can help you or forward you to that sales manager. Um, really, our sales managers are so spread thin um, and trying to get in front of as many advisors. Oftentimes, you'll find it quicker to go to our sales ops manager or a business development rep to get those answers. They are so knowledgeable. They come from our vacation planning team and probably would be a quicker answer as well, so. Okay, got it. Our next question is from Amy, who is wondering where uh, she should send first time cruisers so they have the best experience. So I'm assuming uh, what I tend best for first time when star cruisers. Oh gosh, you know, I'm thinking um, for your first time cruisers, maybe a Caribbean cruise. Uh, I think those are always, you know, the the weather, you have the nice weather, it's a simple, you know, it, it's a simple pace, um, the, the ports are beautiful, uh, the weather, you know, knock on wood, is, you know, you're not going to run into to too many, you know, weather related issues, um, although we just had that hurricane, but we're, we usually go down to the, the um, quite far south, so that might be a good thought. Um, for you and and um, on those first time cruisers, that maybe even Alaska too next summer. I mean, Alaska is always a really a phenomenal you know destination, especially on our small ships. Okay, got it. Our next question is from Pat, who is wondering if you can speak briefly about entertainment on board. So, if there's any musicians or anything like that on board. Oh, thank you for saying that, and I failed to mention that. Yes, so. We have um, musicians and quartets on board. Uh, during the day, there's typically, by that star grill at lunchtime, there's usually a singer and like a drummer or a, a keyboard player doing, you know, fun music. It, actually, we were up in Iceland and it was, oddly enough, sunny and warm. And they were playing, um, you know, kind of that Caribbean style music. It was really fun. Uh, but so that during the day, we do have some musicians. Uh, we do have uh, at, at certain destinations, we will bring people in from those destinations. If like in Tahiti, I was in Tahiti in January and we brought um, a family of dancers on board where in the evening where, um, you know, the parents and grandparents would dance all the way down to the little kids. And it was authentic. It was, you know, I don't want to say non-professional, but it was authentic to the destination and our guests ate it up. They absolutely loved it to see, you know, a true, you know, dancing in, in Tahitian dancing, which is very different from, which I learned from uh, Hawaiian uh, dance um, as well and brought that on board. In the evenings, typically we'll do something like that or during the days, um, also in the evenings after dinner, we have, um, I didn't have a picture of it on here, but we do have an area in the bow, on the top bow of the ship called our Compass Rose Bar and Bar and Lounge. And we'll have um, a, usually a band and singer there. Usually we have two um, on board and there's dancing and singing. Um, what I will say is we don't have the big large shows, um, Broadway production shows like the big ships do. And that's something important to know. Maybe that's important for guests. And if that is, then, you know, they definitely should know that that's not um, there. We don't do the bingos, um, but we do a lot of cooking events as well, cooking demonstrations, uh, bringing in locals from these destinations, telling them and showing them about what those they what their lives are like, really. Okay, understood. And it looks like we just have 
one more question from Kimberly, who is wondering if Windstar does any types of weddings on board. Oh, wonderful question. We are, we, we, we do. Um, so we have a new romance package, which we will be rolling out literally any day. Fabulous question. Uh, uh tahiti being like phenomenal we were as i mentioned we were in tahiti uh with our executive team in january and um we had some advisors on board and we did vow renewals on board it could also easily be a wedding they're not official if we do weddings um but typically you go and get your official have your official wedding you know maybe a the justice and a peace or something like that but we do celebrate the weddings we have our captain um, celebrate the wedding as well. We did a vow renewal, which could easily be a wedding in, in Tahiti. We did it on the bow of the ship. We had the captain do the vows and uh, or, or do the ceremony and the, the a husband and wife did their, renewed their vows. We had uh, champagne and music and dancing on the bow of the ship. It was just absolutely uh, phenomenal. What we just did last week, and I hope my colleague doesn't mind you telling me this, Diana Ron, was on board um, in the Greek Isles with her daughter who got engaged and I actually planned it. Um, and we're going to add that to the romance package as well. And, and it was a similar type situation where um, we had a red carpet rolled out on the bow of the ship and her daughter came out thinking they were just gonna do photos and fun things. We'll come to find out we had the officers out there um, her you know, fiance was out there and music and he proposed to her out in the bow of the ship. They opened champagne and celebrated with a beautiful dinner um, in our in our fine dining restaurant and whatnot. So yes, we do have uh, those options and it really is kind of a neat way to do it in, in these destinations that we go to. Perfect, well, that sounds like a beautiful experience. Congratulations to Diana's daughter. Yes. Uh, and actually, it looks like those are all of our questions. So thank you so much, Gina, for all of that information. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you so much, everyone. And please reach out if you need anything. We look forward to sailing with your guests and or you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Anna. Bye-bye.